Welcome to today's video. Please, I mean, please don't do this with your right shoulder in the downswing. So I wanna get straight into today's video. And honestly, when I've done this with clients that have come to me for lessons, it changes the whole golf swing completely. It's like groundbreaking moment. So let's get straight to it. This is Friday Fix, and I'm gonna use two alignment sticks to really help you understand what we're gonna get into today. One through the belt buckle, one's gonna go across the shoulders. So if we imagine here, I'm addressing the golf ball, that from the top, everybody that gets the swing working over the top, and this is where the right shoulder works, the lower half and the upper half work at the same rate. So we see the, the alignment stick on the bottom, the yellow one, and the blue on the top, both work over. Now we imagine that's the golf club in our hands now, both work over, look how that moves. Now if you're watching this going, well that is exactly me, well one, it's gonna help you. Now if you're watching it going, well I don't quite get that move, well watch too, because if you get this right, it's gonna get you more power and more consistency. And that goes to absolutely everybody. So what I'd like you to do is, if you can actually get two alignment sticks to give you a great visual, it really does help. If you haven't got any alignment sticks, it doesn't matter at all. It just helps you get a visual. Get into golf posture, and what we're looking for here is, again, not a move that works this way. I want you to feel we get a separation at the top of the backswing. So, as you can see here from the face-on perspective, I've got this alignment stick not turned as much as the top one. So, we're looking for more turn with the blue, less with the yellow, and from this position here, I want you to make a kind of a squat and a rotation. So, you see as I'm doing this, it's almost like I'm down, and I'm rotated. Down, and I'm rotated. Whilst I'm doing this, I'm trying to keep the blue at 90 degrees as long as possible. As long as possible. It's hard, guys, it's hard, but honestly, it's really gonna help you get the right shoulder working this way, not this way. So again, to the top, squat it, open it, bring it through. Do two or three reps of this, just getting a feeling for what we're trying to achieve. And you can do this from home. No golf ball, no golf club, just some alignment sticks. So to progress on to the next stage, we're not gonna lose both of these alignment sticks, just the blue. So we've understood so far that where we go wrong, we move the upper half, so the blue, and the yellow alignment stick at the same rate. This pops the shoulder out. What we're looking to do is move the yellow before the blue. So let's progress this on to the next stage and talk about how we can do this with a golf club in our hand. Now we're really trying to stop that right shoulder popping out too early in transition and to get the downswing initiated by the yellow. So I want you to start, actually it might sound strange this, with driver in your hand. Most times pros give you a tip, but like don't start with the driver, don't do it, it's the hardest club. Well, to be honest, it is the hardest club, but I want you to do it with the driver because we can tee it up, okay? That is the main reason why and well, if you can get it with driver, then mentally, seven eyes easy, isn't it? Right? So we'll address the golf ball. I'm just gonna shuffle off it to begin with. We're gonna make our swing to the top. So you can see here, my shoulders, blue, I've turned more than yellow. What I'm trying to do here is I get the yellow to work before the shoulders, swing it through. And this will feel strange to begin with, so just do it slowly. Oh, that felt different. We're not seeing the same rate. We're seeing a motion that is like a chain reaction. So a lot of you will progress this now to a feeling where we just had no golf club, just moving the alignment sticks, to now making it off the golf ball. To get that next progressive point, all we're gonna do is address the golf ball and we're gonna do it in a slow gear. So if we think of the car, okay? Now, if you're American, you won't have a stick shift. If you think I've got that right, uh, please comment down below if I've got that right. We've got gears in the car, so gear one to gear five, or if you've got a supercar, I'm very jealous, you might have gear seven and eight. Um, we're gonna say we've got a normal car, five gears, we're gonna go in gear three, so medium range. What I want you to do is just make a swing and hit the golf ball now, tee it up in medium range. Get in a feeling of that sequence of the yellow working before the blue. And this will stop the right shoulder popping out. It will naturally work correctly. And guess what, well, how, good is a tip that you don't actually have to think about it, doing it, it just does it. Groundbreaking, right? There you go. Here we go. So this is my gear three, my attempt. And away. No real thoughts, no real feelings, 
Ball's gone dead straight. We're creating mini versions of what we want to create in the first place. Now, to take that to the next stage, you're going to do it a little bit quicker, a little bit quicker again, a little bit quicker, and build it up until you feel comfortable with no alignment stick. Thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy the content, please do hit that thumbs up button. It's that one just down below there. It really helped me find out if you're enjoying this content, so thank you for hitting that. Now, I'm reading out a few of the comments. You know I reply to all of them. I absolutely love hearing your feedback and if it's helping you improve your golf game. So please do continue to comment. So reading out a few from the last few days, uh, we've got James Tillman. He put hashtag pick me. This was on last week's Sunday Swings. Um, I knew this was my game. Um, got to the clubs today and it can really help me improve. Thank you for watching. Um, next one is Clarkson. He said he subscribed to the channel because he absolutely loved last week's Sunday Swings. We're on to um, another one here, the simple right elbow move. I know we're talking about right shoulder today. Um, this is a great video. It works. Thank you. So Peter has obviously gone and tried it. And the final one I'm going to pick out here is from Millard Limstead from the driver video. That, that was the only driver lesson you'll ever need. I'll leave the link at the end. He put subscribed. Absolutely love the content. Guys, overwhelmed with all the support, overwhelmed with all the comments. Don't forget to please keep commenting. It makes me feel like I'm talking to somebody.